But I've just taken this frame out of a small hive. The hive uh, was four boxes at winter, got to bad chalk brood. I brought it down to, ended up being a nuke. Um, it's had a bad smell. It doesn't have a bad smell anymore, but there's not very many bees in there. Um, and I couldn't find a queen. But assumedly there was one not that long ago, but I don't, there's certainly no fresh brood in there. Shit. Hold that thought. Right, so here's my concern. So I, I know I've got chalk brood. I'm just going to see if I can kind of zoom in. Okay, so you can see the little mummified bodies in there. So there's no doubt about chalk brood. And then there's one of the little grey ones turning black. There's one sort of up there. That one looks like it's kind of turned. And that one. And you can see that the cappings have all got, I don't know, it's, uh, like it's not actually a hole, but there's a little kind of perforation on the top, on the center, which I don't think is normal. So my f my concern is, my fear is that uh, this hive has had an outbreak of the European fowl brood. Um, I did get it tested a while back, and the consensus was that it was chalk brood, but it's just not kind of coming right, um, despite requeening. And changing frames and changing boxes just kind of won't won't improve itself. So you can see like they've actually continued to put honey around the edges and you know for such a little hive hardly any bees at all they've done a pretty spectacular job of that. So I'm gonna try and do a match test and see if the um Brood is ropey, so let me just see if I can set this up a little bit to try it out. Okay. Right, I think that's good to go. Time for matches. Thank you, Doug. Just having a bit of trouble focusing, I'll just pull that back a little tad. Okay, so where's my match? There, okay. So we're looking at, oh, it's a funny, funny angle. Where the hell is the camera? Oh, it's over there. Right, let's try something. Try it this way. That might work better. Okay, I'm going to have to do this. It looks gooey, no doubt about that. So, does it smell? Smell a vision. It doesn't really smell. Certainly, nothing like what I would be expecting it to smell like. Um, I'm try another one. See if I can pull this one out. What's in that one? Seems to be empty. Alright. Try maybe this one. There we go. Okay. 
coming out, honey. Okay, so you actually, you look about normal. Right. Okay, let's try one more. They're in really deep. Oops. It's weird. It's like trying to do it with robotic hands. Hold on. Come on. No, you're okay. So there's only really that one so far that's been what I would call gooey or ropey. Come on. Reset. You focus. There you go. Right. Try and hold that one there. Try another one up here. Right, and you're good. Nothing wrong with you, darling. You're a good little bee. Sorry, I've had to kill you. Right. <laughs> Well, I don't know, what has this told me? Not much. So the smell is gone, they're looking okay, the back of the frame is dark, they've still got talk brood. Um, what I've done is, I've just, okay, you'll probably laugh, but you're good. So the one that was gooey was at the bottom. I'm just going to see if I can try a couple more down there. Yeah, you see, you're gooey. There's my match. That one is a bit uh, kind of gooey and a bit more formed. Um, try up here. Gooey ones. Uh huh. That's another gooey one. But it's sort of not really slippery gooey. They're just um, not quite gooey. No, erring on the side of gooeyness. Hmm, right, I'm going to maybe here, maybe. What I want to do is try to duplicate that goo that one gooey one that I pulled out. Let's see if there's any more of those. Okay. I think you're a tad gooey, but you're only really gooey because you're a bit young. Hmm. So the chalk brood is definitely the little white carcasses and they've got the two little yellow things that look like fangs hanging out the front. Trying to find something that looks more suspect. That one up there. These are perfectly formed bees, with the exception of that little gooeyness down there. Let's see that one. Let me try here that one. Yeah, that one there. Can you see that one? That one came out. Pretty disgusting looking. But so far, all of the rest. Been fine. Uh, I'm very good at taking bees out with a matchstick. Hmm. Right. 
It's in the middle, okay. One glittery one. And the rest are okay. So, uh, okay, so what I was saying is I've put uh, three filled frames with nothing in them and one frame that I pulled out of a hive this morning that had some uncapped honey in it. I put that into a new box and then I've shaken the bees. Sorry, before then, this is the laughing bit. I have actually sprayed all of those frames with a fine mist of apple cider vinegar, one to five. And then I've shaken the bees in and I've poured on the top of the frames some um, blue gum honey mixed with some lemon juice. And tomorrow I'm going to shake in some arrowroot powder. And the idea is that if I keep feeding them the blue gum and the lemon juice, the arrowroot powder will force them to clean each other. And I'm hoping that I can get rid of dogwood. This is test number one. <laughs>